This morning I was up bright and early to head out to the Yuma Proving Ground, that would be 5 a.m., for a test mission in 111 degree heat that proves year after year to be a real lifesaver for troops on the ground. In three, two, one. It is called the Miklik for short, or the M58 Mine Clearing Line three, Charge. Two, one. And it has one straightforward mission. So if this was an actual minefield, six to seven meters on either side of this main trench line, those mines that are buried in the ground would have uh, been detonated by the pressure pushing down on them. Test manager Robert Archibald says the old school device clears the road ahead for troops on the ground. Once the rocket is launched, the line of C4 comes trailing behind it, creating a massive explosion that wipes out landmines and other IEDs below. The test vehicle behind me is carrying about 1,800 pounds of charge or explosives. About 40 years ago, it would have been used to clear landmines out of the area. Now it's used in a place like Afghanistan to clear IEDs out of the road where military vehicles might be trying to get through. Archibald is a former Marine, so he has a firsthand account of how valuable the continued production of the Miklik is because it saves the lives of our military men and women. I use them quite extensively in the first uh, Desert Storm, Operation Desert Storm, to breach the Iraqi laid minefield so we could get into Kuwait. The crew tests new lots every six to eight weeks and production manager Renee Medina says the M58 is one of a kind. They've got smaller units that basically does the job for you know the dismounting the soldiers so you know we each clear a small lane for a foot soldier but for vehicles like this to clear out the whole path you know there's nothing else out there right now. Medina says the MIGLIC is used every single month in Afghanistan where this type of explosion creates a trench 10 to 15 meters wide and about a football field long. And it's often fired multiple times to clear the path to freedom. We don't want the tools that we give them to harm them. We want them to be able to emplace an item, use a weapon, a gun, an artillery piece, a mortar tube, uh, an aircraft, whatever it be, and, and be able to take that item out, use it as it's designed, and then return back to their, their home base safely and in one piece. And testing won't stop here. It will continue through next year. Reporting for ABC 5 News from the Yuma Proving Ground, I'm Christy Wilcox.